Yes, my good people, we are bringing to you Amobia. Amobia is a boundary town with uh, Oka, the capital city of Anambra State. Then uh, Oka and Amobia is very close that uh, you may not even know when you cross from Oka to Amobia or when you cross from Amobia into Oka. So they are very close, it's just like uh, Obuno. Obuno and Oka. Obuno has the same boundary with Oka. So that is the way it is. But right now we are coming from the, we are using Amovia Bypass, the road that connects Expressway, Nguanicha Expressway with uh, the Nguanicha Road Road. That is where we are. So we just captured it a bit so you can see where we are entering. No, uh, we are not going to follow right. We are going to the other side of Amopia, which is by the left. So the, there are some construction of uh, internal roads. No, some roads there are under construction and uh, we wish to go there to show you guys the situation of that road or some of the roads under construction in Amobia. well um this is likely to be the second time we are giving you this Amobia road construction the first one has been a very long time ago. In fact, since that very long time ago, I have not uh, come this side. Though I still have it in mind, but um, today is the day and uh, we had and uh, we made the plans to come and visit the Amorbia town so we can update you guys concerning the road constructions that are going on there some of the roads have been completed okay this is the entry point let's see what the contract details have concerning this particular one construction of an Amorbia internal roads lot one So that is the details and every other details is there. You can dwell on that to see more of the details. So but uh, we are going to move around. We are going to move around Amobia. You want to see the exact situation of the roads. Like I said, some of the roads are completed recently why some are still under construction that is the point so but we are going to show you the much as we can you know so that you follow up with the situation and the updates on ground so but uh, if you have not subscribed to Yanga Life channel please click on the subscription button notification bell like this video don't forget to share this video share it to get to others just like uh, you've watched others who still want to watch this video so don't keep it to yourself if you are keeping it to yourself you are not helping us and you are not doing us good so that is the only thing you can do for us sharing our videos and we can never disappoint you because we are here to give you much details of what you need of what you want to see about Amorbia road construction Well, uh, I may not uh, start mentioning the streets where we have entered, but I know that many of you are familiar with this place. 
some viewers knows this place and they will be happy and glad that uh, they have seen this place you know after a very long time or oh, some are still there you know st- within the area but we'll be glad to see their area come up on youtube so these are the type of people that enjoys the video so however we are still moving around we've just started anyway so i'm going to take you guys around amobia Well, uh, I'm of the people are uh, lucky, you know, compared to some other places in Imo State. Why I brought this thing up is that somebody like Rochas, you see that entrance road we followed, that link road that connects uh, Express and uh, the one it's old road. Somebody like Rochas is going to do a lot of demolition there and uh, expand that road into double lane as in dualize it because there is a way these things works there is a way these things functions let me give you an instance federal roads you know they are bigger compared to state roads and this is some of the internal roads you can see this road is almost at the same length and the same width with uh, that Amobia um, bypass. So in actual sense, the Amobia um, bypass is supposed to be dualized so that if you are living there and entering inside there, then you will be in a single lane road. But it's not a um, hard and fast rule. There is no rule guiding that. What I'm saying is what I thought will be okay, you know, considering city planning. The main access road into the other internal road is supposed to have a wider coverage than the internal roads. Well, just like I said, there is no rule, there is no hard and fast rule about that. But, um, you know, um, something good is something good. And uh, secondly, they might have uh, thought that, well, uh, so many buildings will be affected also. Yes, so many buildings are there and uh, it's likely they will be affected if the uh, government goes to dualize that place. That's why I always shout, you see some of these roads that are being constructed newly that has the opportunity of expansion, government should not delay in expanding them because of future development. And that is how these things work. So what happens is that we will be moving from one area to the other. Amobia is quite uh, a developing town that uh, connotes with Oka town itself, but they are all under Oka capital territory. From Oka, the, from the main Oka stretches down to Abangana and uh, up to Nibo Axis, then um, Isu. All those areas, I want to see, they are all under Oka capital territory. (laughs) 
so but uh, as usual the open drainage is there and uh, some of the roads that we are constructed you know is yet to be marked and we've not seen street light yet and uh, you know um, the normal sand taking over the road is still much present well um, the governor is doing his best to get some of our roads to be motorable but you know there are there have been years of neglect there have been years of neglect that um, the job seems uh, very enormous presently well uh, it's as if uh, we have not started but work is in progress i'm talking in terms of uh, getting our roads to be paved so many places you know people have developed so many places in Oka, in Onewi, in Onicha. Many people have developed them, but the, there is no road to enter their houses. So many that's well developed places, buildings everywhere, no empty land, but there is no road there. They are very, very enormous in Anambra State. So, but um, these are the work that uh, you know government is trying to get in good shape they need to work hard if Soludo must not finish everything the other government that will come they will continue from where he stopped but uh, the point i'm making is that uh, anything we are touching down should be you know uh, done to last a longer time to avoid creating much work in the nearest future concerning that particular place so viewers now we are going to visit another place we've just entered the bypass road this is the road i was referring to that if it were rochas <laughs> rochas will not mind he's going to demolish everything here and uh, expand this road well <clears throat> As in a Uzona, Kamana, and on your zo, that uh, it's always better to build road on somebody's land. That is uh, one of the adage that uh, people used to say in Ibo land. Well, um, uh, 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 demolition kege ota ito se ade. So, but, um, still people have to if you must plan our city all these things has to be get done and people must realize and observe the setback government has uh, issued there is a law guiding buildings from the road these laws are there to prevent you know um, demolition so that if government wants to expand the road it will be easier for them there will be nothing like a demolition but people will not obey this law they will go and build on government's land that is the problem so now when government start demolition they will start looking for compensation and they will say that government is wicked meanwhile they are the ones that have encroached these laws are there everywhere and our people must start to obey this kind of laws you know when government said this thing should not be done let it not be done and the government on their own part must enforce that law immediately you know the problem is allowing these things to accumulate for a very long time when they have accumulated it becomes a way of life as an alo alo baro obrozia omenade or yene kunoku so i wanna me me onion cause or die won't die one of the other zero ever there no case yeah me or yen na koweba so but that's you know um, is as if some people are not doing the correct thing and the right thing people has to 
correct these things immediately there is an error in it you know so but uh, we are still moving within Amorbia this is still Amorbia and I bet you that um, some road constructions are going on we are about to enter one again that is under construction well, the idea of keeping that environment is still part of the problems individually. People don't care. Everybody's after business. Wake up, go for your business, come back, uh, you know, rest. You abandon your environment. Let there be enforcement towards that so that people can wake up. People has to wake up to live like human beings that is the truth of it so like i said we'll be moving around and um, we'll still move around and connect the other side of our mob that uh, bishop Crowder Seminary Axis will still connect that place and show you another um, road construction that was done from that axis to inside Amorbia. All these things we will show you in this video. So relax and uh, enjoy the video. If you have not subscribed to Younger Life channel, please click on the subscription button, notification bell, like this video and please don't forget to share this video, share it, it is vital that you share it and that is the only way you can encourage us and other people need to watch this video just like uh, you've just did. Yes, my great viewers, to be frank with you, um, I have not been along these places before. This is the first time I am setting my feet along these places. But uh, it's quite an enjoyable scene, you know, and you know, seeing some places you've not seen before and, uh, you know, moving around that place. I enjoy the movement and uh, i still believe that uh, many of you have not seen these places before so you enjoy the movement and uh, you know be updated with uh, the situation on ground
I don't know. Да,
yes you can see where the road terminates in the front of bishop crowder seminary and uh, almost you know the boundary of uh, oka and Amobi. i can see bishop crowder gates you be, maybe you may be familiar with uh, this place if you take here you are going straight inside oka then if you take right you are going to bust out at uh, Enugwanicha Old Road. That is how it is. So you can see it down there, you are going to come out at Enugwani uh, Child Road. But here is a new road constructed inside Amobia. We are going to follow it and move down. Probably we'll come out around the prisons in Amobia. <laughs> 